Okay, here's a little video for my buddy, Uncle Deke, a.k.a. Dick Gibson. And he has sent me, not for me personally, I can't keep it, i got to send it back, but he has sent me an APM that he got from Banggood. And it's called an Arducopter. But it can be used with a plane as well. You just have to load the Arduplane firmware instead of the Arducopter firmware. It's basically just an APM board from Banggood.com in China. Get a little cheaper that way. We don't know if it's as good as the 3DR APM, but uh, one problem he ran into was uh, it didn't have enough current to run both stages of the minimum OSD. That was one thing, and uh, so I'm just going to do it the way I do it on my APM from 3DR, and I'm going to run it off this UBEC, so the minimum OSD is going to be run on that UBEC. So, we got the whole thing, I just connected everything together on the bench, and I haven't really tested anything. So, Uncle Deke, here it is. We got your power module here. Actually, it's it's all yours except for the servos, this UBEC, and that receiver. I think most of the rest is yours. I've also added my Afro ESC here in a motor. Put that on channel 3. But it's all laid out here. And I've wired it according to the schematic that I sent you. So that means the throttle on uh, channel 1 here on the receiver is actually going to channel 3 on the uh, on the Arju pilot right here. So that's the big difference. Now, you were saying the servos wouldn't work. Well, what I've done there is I took your UBEC that you did have going to the minimum OSD and I did what I do on mine and that's I run it to the output bus right here to supply power to the servos. And that's really all there is to it. And then I just used a, another UBEC for the minimum OSD. So you're going to need two UBECs. You'll probably have to buy you a little cheapy or something to use it for the minimum OSD. And I've got that minimum OSD hooked to the telemetry radio just like you did. I just took a couple uh, Polulu wires, I think it's Polulu, disconnected it up there. And I've also plugged in your airspeed sensor. And additionally, I have the video going out here to my monitor over here so we can see if that works. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the battery and see what happens. I'll just lay the camera down here. I'll just aim it at the servos while I plug it in and you can see what happens. I think you saw the servos move there, so something is happening. Now I've got the bind plug on the receiver. I haven't even bound it yet. Oh, there goes the motor. So it probably thinks it's in return to home or something and it's fired the motor up. So we can just let it run there. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the battery and get my radio and go ahead and bind it. Okay, just pulled off the couple of the motor wires so that won't start running on me again. And I'm going to go ahead and plug the battery back in. There we go. Okay, now we're waiting for a bind, so I'm going to go ahead and bind it to my Skywalker model on my radio right here. Just going to hold the button in and turn it on. Binding. And there we go. Got a solid light now on the receiver over here. Right there. All right. Now we've got that bound. I'm going to go ahead and turn the power back off or unplug the cable here. Okay, going to turn the radio back on. And 
now the radio is on. And what I'm going to do now is recycle the power. Okay. Recycling the power. There we go. Uh, of course, I got a fail say I mean a brownout light, but you can see the uh, servos work here. There's the aileron servo, and there is the rudder servo. I don't have a servo plugged up for the uh, elevator yet, but anyway, you can see the servos work fine as is. It looks like most of the stuff is working. I'll do a little more checking. I might go ahead and update the. Uh, screens for the Minim OSD with my notebook and maybe redo the firmware on the Arju Pilot and also uh, put my parameters on it and then see what it does. Okay, I'm just updating the firmware right now. Putting on Arju Plane version 3.0.3 and uh, we'll just get that on, then I'm going to upload my parameters to it. Okay, firmware is loaded. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect and put my parameters on there. So, connecting. Yeah, you can't be connected when you install the firmware. But you have to be connected when you load parameters. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead over here and load my parameter file, which I am in the wrong folder. I should be not in Pixhawk. Pixhawk's another story. We want to be in ArduPilot folder, and there it is. I'll just load these. Alright, and then after we're done with that, I'll write the params to the Arju Pilot. And that should be about it. Alright, now I can disconnect. Now let's move on to refreshing the panels or screens on the Minim OSD. Uncle Deke, I'm using your FTDI board that you sent, just to be fair. And I got it plugged into your Minim OSD here. Now what I'm going to do next is go to the file. And I am going to open my OSD file, which is right here. Save for my Skywalker. Pick that one. And that loads in the stuff. Now what we got to do is save each tab. So I'm going to do save current tab. And it says done writing data, so that's good. You might see a little flickering going on here. I wonder if I turn the lamp off, that helps. Nope, not really. I don't know what causes that flickering. But anyway, now we'll go down, we'll go to panel 1, and we'll save that. You can see how I got panel 1 set up. You can change this, of course, if you want to. And here is panel 2, and I'll just go ahead and save that. Okay. So now we got all the panels set up. And you can see it's rebooted over here when I did that. All right, now, closing the config tool, and we'll try the whole thing out. Okay, I've got it booted back up. Everything is running right now. Radio is bound, and you can see the display here. And you can see it's reading the voltage okay. Current's right here. And, of course, you knew that the artificial horizon worked. There's your compass. Now, we don't have any satellites. I'm down here in the basement. And uh, the GPS here is not picking anything up right now. It might later. Okay, now we're in manual mode over here. 
latitude and longitudes right here and pretty much everything is there that you would need. Here's your home altitude and your total altitude. So total altitude is like above sea level, whatever that is, and this is your altitude above your home where you started. And you got wind speed right there and wind direction. Then up here we have uh, this is uh, air speed, which you can see that's actually working. If, if I uh, play with the airspeed sensor here with my finger, you can see that changing. So the airspeed sensor is working. Then you got uh, ground speed, throttle, and uh, the throttle does work. Let me see if I can move it up here. See the motor going, and you can see the throttle's up to 20% right there. So. Servos are working, everything's working just like it's hooked up right here. So you should be able to put this in your plane and it should work. And I've got a 4 cell battery here, so same thing that you'd probably be using. If not, you could use a 3 cell. And um, the wiring on this is just like I put on the schematic where the throttle, like I said, is on 1 going to 3. And then the aileron is on... Uh, the next one up two, and then that would go to one on the on the Arju pilot over here. But you can see it on the schematic how that goes on. So there really shouldn't be any problems that I can see that would cause you any trouble. Just remember to use a separate UBEC and battery over here for the minimum OSD on your video section, and uh, just keep that separate because you can't run the minimum OSD directly off this particular RG pilot doesn't seem to have enough current I um, think that's about it that about wraps it up everything's updated I'll have you take a look at this video and you can let me know if there's anything else you want done or any questions you got uh, Pretty much I'm limited in what I can do since I don't have your aircraft, your radio, or your receiver. But let me know. And it's Cousin Dave out.